What's up to Piz and Her Grove? Uh, coming at you with our last mite update. So we wanted to get you guys an update after we feel like we got the problem resolved. Uh, Mark, just talk about what worked for us and uh, how if you're, you know, if you're fighting these fuckers that uh, you can try to, you know, save your garden. Um, the plants we're going to look at, uh, these were gifted us from Eddie Cropper. He's looking out for us when we lost this room. Um, so we have them in here. Uh, they will start flowering soon. They're not flowering yet. They're just veggie right now. But there are some with some good mite damage. So that's why I'm going to show these instead uh, of what uh, what's in our current flower room, which will probably be a little more exciting to look at just because they're, you know, 14 days in the flower and they got bud sites going and all that shit. Uh, but there's some better mite damage that we can talk about in here. So, so we're going to use this room uh, to kind of go over that. And I'm, I'm just going to talk about what worked for us. Uh, we're not going to talk about... Um, what didn't work if we don't mention a product or a, uh, a method that, uh, you know, in this video, it's probably because we tried it and it didn't work for us. So we're just going to talk about what did work for us. Uh, got most of the fans turned off in here, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right. And uh, I'm just going to look at the damage. So again, these are um, these were gifted to us, so big shout out to him for helping us out. And uh, we're going to use them as our little oops, sorry, uh, showcase models here. So, the damage from mites on this Wi-Fi OG, very different than the other plants that we had, um, does the hard curl on the edges, uh, like a very, very intense heat stress, but not so much, like usually you'd see like a, the plant wouldn't actually be decaying like it is on the edges, um, but this one's almost kind of dying on the edges and, and really hard curl. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a dust on the leaves. Um, Really hard, and of course, it's gonna focus or right the fuck back there. Let me see if I can get this for you guys. But there's kind of a dust on the leaves, and uh, I don't know if you can see it. But that's that's pretty bad when it's dusted. Um, that's usually just a bunch of like mites and eggs on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but anyways, dusted is bad news. Uh, the leaf curl not good obviously um, what you're looking for it's gonna be hard to tell because it can, it can be all kinds of different what you would think of as nutrient deficiencies or toxicities um, so you can have like the curl you can have the lighting edges you can have the hard heat stress looking like leaf curl going up uh, you can also have what we saw a lot of in our room was the um, the, the clawing or what you might even say is uh, the canoeing effect um, see where it's like, you know, it's curled all the way on the sides as well, do, as well as doing the claw. So that, you know, these have pretty bad mites on them. Um, everything on them is dead right now. I haven't seen any live mites in like a week or so. Uh, but this is kind of what you're looking for. Uh, when you're looking for them, you need a 60x microscope at least. That's going to be your best bet. Um, we had a 40x and you can kind of see them, but 60x is really nice. Uh, you're going to be, you can get one on Amazon. For like 10 bucks because like the one we have 60 to 120x has an led light and everything looks works great um to be looking for them you're going to be one of looking down in the lower parts of the plant okay uh so not not the upper growth the top growth they're gonna they're gonna shy away from this um, unless they're really bad just because the heat's up here and they don't like the heat um, they like it what's cooler uh, not a lot of light so they're going to be down towards the bottom of your plant so if you just find some new growth and you go look at the fan leaves around there. If they're on your plant, you should be able to find them there. Um, if you can take a microscope and get up on the brand new growth, uh, that's probably the best place to look because they do flock to the new growth. Uh, the males will carry the females over to this uh, new growth area, lay them down, they'll start breeding, the males will shove their heads in your plant and start pumping in toxins. Um, so they like the new growth. But if you're in a fan, like near fan leaf, near new growth, this was obviously new growth not too long ago, um, or at one point in time, um, but they'll be around in the area. So you want to look here where all the petals are meeting, right? Right up top there um, in the same spot underneath. So if they're bad, you'll see them all the way down the leaf, but uh, they're going to be more concentrated towards the, where all the, the, all the petals are meeting, just right there in the center. So get your microscope up on that. Um, ideally just pull a fan leaf off to go look at, you know, put it on your table, be easier. Um, and just take a look at it. You know, see what you can find, make sure everything looks clean, look again closer to the middle here. 
That's where they're mostly going to be concentrated at, here and here, all right? So that's what you're looking for. Um, to, to know what exactly what you're looking for, I'll splice in some pictures. Keep in mind that I did not know um, I could take a picture through my microscope like that, so uh, the pictures I have are all after we've, we've fixed the problem, so they're all dead mites, uh, but it's still kind of what they look like. So I'll show, you, show that to you guys, um, and you'll see they're really bad on here. All right, guys, so this is what you're looking for, uh, these little fuckers. Um, those, you know, kind of towards the top are eggs, the bottom are actual mites, but they all look the same size. Eggs are like a tad bit bigger than the actual mites, um, but they're all pretty much the same size. So this is what you're looking for. You'll see them moving around. These are all dead, of course, unfortunately, um, but you will see them kind of walking around. They're real slow. They don't move fast, but you will see their little hands and feet moving. This is just a further away shot, but it had like a large amount of them in there, so you can really see what they look like. Again, this is like 60 to 120 egg zoom, so... Um, so it's a really close-up shot, but that's what you're looking for and uh, this last shot here um, You can see the mite in the middle now if you look very, like just to the bottom left of it You'll see that little ball. That's just like a resin gland ball. Um, it's not actual egg It's not a mite so you'll see those on the bottom of your plants Don't get those confused with actual mite or mite eggs. It's it's fine. It's normal But the what you're looking for is in the middle and what you saw in the other pictures. All right um, Just keep that in mind back to the video this Wi-Fi on these, these, these hardcore dusted curl leaves. Um, you'll see them there. But, uh, but yeah, so mainly lower growth, usually lower growth, bottom of your leaves, towards the middle, be looking there, right? If you find them, let's talk about fixing the problem. So what you should do, if you have a smaller garden, um, just get the Guardian Mite Spray. It's expensive, but trust me, it's, it's worth saving your garden for, okay? So just get the Guardian Mite Spray off the rip. Um, that's going to work best, you know, uh, not going to support Matty G's uh, personal life decisions or the way he grows, but he did suggest using Guardian Mice Spray first to us, uh, I think before anyone else, so got to give him props for, for leading us in the right direction. But that is going to work best for you, um, so if you can afford it, just get Guardian Mice Spray right off the rip. If you have a bigger garden, got a lot of plants to treat, and you don't want to be spraying with $30 an ounce my, uh, Guardian Spray, um, just get some Met 52. Again, this is, uh, you don't want to be spraying Met 52 late in flower, um, so if this is something that you'd be doing before you actually were, were progressed in flower, all right? Let's just talk about it like you found it in veg or within the first week of flower. Um, so if you have a bigger garden, hit it with Met 52 two times. Uh, do two uh, tablespoons, is it tablespoons or teaspoons? Sorry, two teaspoons. Um, check, the, check the ingredients. I think it's teaspoons, not tablespoons. But do two teaspoons first application, two teaspoons a gallon, and then do one and a half teaspoons for the second and third application. Uh, or just second application, whatever you want to do. Two applications is probably good at the Met 52. And then on your third application, which again, you're going to be doing these three days apart. So your first application, Met 52. And again, you can sub that with Guardian Mite Spray if you can afford it. Second, second application, Met 52, but at a teaspoon and a half a gallon rather than two teaspoons. Third application, three days later, you've done all these applications three days apart. Third application, you hit them with the Guardian Mite Spray. Um, if you've been using the Met 52, you can go ahead and just use 30 milliliters a gallon of the Guardian Mite Spray on your, your third application. If you're starting with the Guardian Mite Spray, they suggest you hit it with uh, double the dosage, so you'd be at 60 milliliters a gallon. Um, we sprayed, we used the orange cookies and the Wi-Fi kind of as like a test subject and we hit them pretty hard with the Guardian at 30 milliliters a gallon, so not the double dosage. And I didn't see a live mite on them afterwards. It worked that well after one application. Um, I'm not going to suggest you do one application and walk away, that's a bad idea. Uh, but it did, it did work really well, so just something to note there that these had it pretty bad. We hit them with, I would say, you know, I've actually, now that I've looked at stuff, I've seen them way worse um, than this. But, uh, but yeah, if they're not like horrible, horrible, like, I mean, these are pretty bad, but if they're not, you know, coated on the stems where you can see them, just like a, like a white film, if they're not that bad, you could probably just stick with 30 milliliters a gallon for the first spray of Guardian Mite Spray. Um, if, they, if they're worse, I would maybe do double dosage, dosage the first time and then switch to 30 milliliters a gallon. So, we're gonna say we do Met 52, two sprays, two teaspoons, one and a half teaspoons. Third spray, Guardian Mite Spray, 30 milliliters per gallon. Fourth spray, Guardian Mite Spray, 30 milliliters per gallon. Okay, so that's four total sprays. We've spaced them three days apart. 
So that's a, basically a 12-day regimen, okay? And you got to be religious, okay? You got to be hitting them every three days because you're basically waiting for the eggs to hatch. They can't actually breed or do shit after they hatch, but they're more vulnerable. So after the eggs hatch, when you're spraying, you know, you're spraying them again so you kill all that new larvae before it progresses to adulthood where it can mate and fucking leave eggs all over your plant and make more, you know, more mites, um, which is what, not what you want. So that's what we would suggest doing. That should get rid of your problem for the most part. Now that's on your plants, okay? They can still be in your room, they can lay dormant in colder temperatures, all that shit. Um, so what we did as like an insurance or whatever is we got predator mites, that's what these little sachets are right here. These are all predator mite bags. Um, I think these plants are smaller, we only have one per plant, but we usually do like two bat sachets per plant. Uh, I brought this in so you guys can see it. This is the predator, predator mites we get. Um, there are a couple of different kind of predator mites out there. These are the ones uh, that we've seen the best success with. Um, <clears throat> this is the name. You can try to pronounce it if you want to. I'm not going to embarrass myself. But basically, it says spider mite predators, but they'll eat any mites. Um, there's 200 sachets in here. That's a sachet. So we basically do two per plant. Again, these are smaller, so we just did one. Um, but that's kind of our insurance to in case anything got missed with the spray, those will go through and clean it up. Especially on in our other room, that's like in day... 14 of flower. Those plants are a lot bigger, they're a lot more uh, bushier, um, even though they're all lollipops and stuff, the tops are still pretty crowded. So uh, we, we just got those predator mites in there kind of as like, hey, if there's anything left, go kill them. So that's what we suggest doing. Uh, again, all guardian mites spray, at least five applications. If you're not going to do, or sorry, four applications. Um, if you want to save some money, MET 52, two applications, guardian mites spray, two applications. All right. That should fix your problem. I would honestly spray it, if you're not gonna get predator mites, I would spray it a fifth time, just to make sure. Um, but that really should get rid of most of your problem, all right? And then of course you need to be treating your new plants every 30 days uh, with Guardian Mite Spray, just doing a light 30 milliliters a gallon every 30 days um, to prevent any future bugs. And you can use, if you're just doing preventative and you got the problem under control, Green Glean Cleaner will work really well um, as a preventative. Um, so you can use that too. Uh, so, that's what we suggest doing. Um, as far as your room goes, so you finish spraying them, you got the problem under control, you feel like you've killed everything, these fuckers can be anywhere, they're mites, they're very small, if you don't have predator mites out there hunting them, they can definitely still be in your room, um, and even with predator mites, probably you have to be careful, so, if you, you should be cleaning your room regardless after you're done. Uh, but take it an extra step further, I guess. So what we do is when we cleaned out this room, we took uh, the atomizer and we mixed a strong bleach solution in it, All right? So one, one, six, one to six ratio of bleach to water. And we atomized this whole room, All right? Wear a mask when you do that. Same with the MET 52 stuff. The, uh, the Guardian Mice spray, you probably don't have to wear a mask. It's mostly just essential oils. So I'm probably safe just to wear one in case, but uh, when you're spraying bleach, <laughs> it's just unhealthy. It's the same as the MET 52, so make sure you're wearing a respirator of some type. Um, but yeah, spray, we sprayed everything with bleach, okay? And then we wiped it all down afterwards, got all the surfaces clean, everything. So on top of the predator mites of assurance, after you flip your room, clean that shit hardcore. You should, be, you should be cleaning it really well anyways every time you flip a room, but um, take it an extra step further if, if you're treating this problem. The predator mites, Work great. So I'll splice some. I have a picture of one. They're hard for me to find, um, but they're pretty cool. Uh, so I'll, try, I'll splice in that picture so you guys can look at it real quick. All right, here you guys go. This is the beast. You can see him. That little speck that's underneath him. Um, that's you know a little different color than the white resin all on the leaf. The little orange-looking speck is the size of a mite. To give you an idea of how big he is compared to the mite. Um, and these are things that are just roaming around, uh, tearing up your. Uh, your garden, you know, you know those bugs for you. And you actually saw one when I was looking at the Wi-Fi earlier on the video. I'll put an annotation, but there was actually one running around on the leaf that you could see uh, when I was filming. All right, later. Uh, but basically, these sachets come with adult, uh, adult mites, larvae, and see our babies, like eggs. So kind of like the whole, there's like a little ecosystem in there, and they'll just kind of hatch and come up and crawl through the plant and. And basically have like a little predator mite colony going on, um, which is fine because they'll eat everything. And then once everything's gone and they can't eat no more, there's no more food, they'll leave. And they'll go look for more food or they'll starve to death. Uh, either way, they'll be off your plant at the end, which is what's important. Um, don't just 
If you have a bad problem, spray first. Do not just buy predator mites, throw them in your garden, and be like, boom, they're gonna eat all my mites, problem taken care of. That's not how they work. They don't run through your fucking uh, garden like a bunch of like, you know, crazy psychopath killers uh, just cutting mites' heads off. Like, they don't do that. They, they're, they're just eating. You know, they just go and they find food and they eat it. And then when they're full, they stop eating. So they're not like, you know, despite the name predator mite, they're not running through your fucking garden chopping heads off, right? They're just, they're just eating as they get hungry and then they get full and then they don't eat. So that's why if you have a, a bad infestation, it's hard. Like if you just get a bunch of predator mites, yeah, they'll help control the population a little bit, but if there's more rusted mites than predator mites can eat, um, they're always gonna be more dominant, right? They have a short life, span, or short life cycle so they can, they can birth fast and uh, predator mites aren't gonna fix your problem if, that, you know, if you have a bad infestation. So start with sprays, add predator mites at the end if you can afford it. If not, just make sure you do five applications at least. Last three applications are guardian mite spray. Um, and then when you flip your room, you clean that shit hardcore, all your pots have to be super sterilized clean. Use hydrogen peroxide if uh, would be good or alcohol. Um, or throw them in like a industrial washing machine on a hot water temperature. Um, or highest hot water you can go. That, that will kill them as well. So make sure if you're going to reuse your pots. Um, don't reuse your cocoa. They can sit in your cocoa or your soil or whatever you have. So don't reuse that. Just get fresh shit. Don't even try to clean them out of there. Um, and that should be good. So you just gotta, after you fix the problem, you just gotta be on top of keeping your room clean, um, you know, getting new, new medium for your, your girls that are coming in, and just staying on top of checking your plants <clears throat> every couple of weeks, just to make sure nothing's coming up. And then the, every 30 day preventative of guardian mite spray should work well. Uh, would you use guardian mite spray? There will be some damage to the leaves, okay? Um, it is just essential oils, but it will damage the leaves and of course, after you know, if you do a few applications, it's more you know you see it um, rather than if you just did one application. If you just do one application of garden mite spray every 30 days, you're not going to see like any real hard damage to your plants. Um, but if you do multiple applications when you're actually treating the problem, you will see some damage. But again, that damage is a lot better than what they would look like if they were just getting to eat in with you know from mites the whole time. So try not to ramble as much as I did last time, but I try just to tell you what's going to work. Um, again, if we didn't say what you think is going to work or some method that you've tried that worked, it's probably because we tried it and it didn't work. So I'm just telling you guys what worked for us, uh, how we haven't seen a live mite in you know, over a week, and obviously you know, that doesn't mean we're clear of this situation at all. We have to keep a close eye on these girls um, and all future plants that are coming through here. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically what's working for us. I feel confident enough to make this video because we haven't seen anything alive. Everything looks super healthy. Uh, I mean, these plants are going through their own shit, right? These are, uh, they weren't watered for a while. They got transplanted. They were root bound. Um, they got shocked from the Gavita lights. Like they've just gone through all kinds of shit. They got treated for the mites. So, so don't judge these plants. <clears throat> but the other room, you guys will see the room in Nutri Room. They're looking a lot better and healthier. So. Uh, that's what we did to fix it. So please let us know if you have this problem. You know, we'd love to help you because we don't want anyone to go through what we went through. Uh, so just let us know. Reach out to us. You know, Instagram. You can email us. Contact at hisandhergrow.com. Um, we'll totally help you out. Uh, but yeah, so everything looks good so far. As you guys can see, the new growth is all looking is looking fine. Um, and the other thing to note is that you know these these plants had it really bad, and then there's plants like this alien dog. Okay, super healthy. Couldn't even find a mite on it. Same with this Scott OG back here. Not the most healthy, but still. Like I maybe found a couple of mites on here. Not a lot, you know, a few, but not a lot. Um, so anyways, let us know if you have any questions. Hopefully you never even have to go through this and you can just not even pay attention to this video. Uh, but if you do have to go through it, hopefully this helps you in some way. Um, but again, kind of rambled, so if you have any specific questions or the process doesn't make sense or you're confused, just let us know. We'll answer your questions and, and try to help you out as much as you can or as much as we can. Um, go have a good evening. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. You know, Happy New Year. It's going to be New Year's tomorrow, so Happy New Year's to everyone. Uh, stay safe out there. You know, Try not to drink and drive. Maybe just medicate and chill. Um, yeah, and enjoy. Hopefully we'll see you guys next year with some good updates. And uh, show you some fucking rockin' buds in our Remo Nutrients room. Alright, see y'all later.